Hello, it's Miss Bailey here at Bailey Preschool. I have a story for you. It's called Reach Out and Give. We want to make sure that we are the best people we can be. And part of believing in ourselves and having confidence in ourselves is reaching out and giving to others. So let's get into our story. Remember, we always refer to this as the front cover of our book. This is the spine of our book. And this is the back cover of our book. The author is the person that writes the text or the words in the book. This is Sherry J. Miners. And the illustrator is the person that takes the photographs or write, draws the pictures in the book. All right. The world is beautiful. There's so much to notice and be grateful for. I'm also grateful for people who help me. There are lots of ways I can show my thanks and give something back. I want to reach out to people. I can be generous. And they have a box there that says donations. Being generous can take time. I might help someone without being asked. Or I might make something for someone I care about or spend some time with that person. I like to join in and volunteer. It feels good when I work to make things better. There are lots of ways to be generous. I can notice what someone might need or want. Then I can say and do kind things that might help. See how he's helping her? I can share my things, my time, and my talents. I can help someone smile just by being me and doing things I can do. Because even though you're a kid, maybe you can still do so many things. When I see a need, I can sometimes help right away. Other times I can get permission first. Sometimes you might want to give away a toy. Make sure you ask your parent first if it's okay. I can give service by myself or with other people. My little bit can be part of something bigger. I can reach out to people I know at home, at school, and in my community. I can even help people I've never met who live in other parts of the world. My kind act may help one person or many. When I give to someone else, I may need to give up something for myself. I think it's worth doing when I imagine how the person might feel. So he's using that strategy of imagination also to make sure that he thinks about what another person might feel when he does something or gives something. Giving is like a circle. Good deeds are never wasted. When I do a favor for someone, that person might help somebody else. Kindness may even come back to me. Now notice how he said when he does a favor for someone, then that person might do a favor for someone else. So they won't necessarily do a favor for you, but for someone else, and that should make you feel good too. Being generous brings out the best in me and it lifts someone else up. 
It helps us get along. When I do my part, I can help make the world a better place. I'm glad that I can make a difference. The end. I hope that you enjoyed that story. And remember, you can make a difference.